obviously everyone here knows you as this this local well local celebrity obviously now you're a national global celebrity people whoever watched the voice they know who you are mm -hmm. um the fact that you know you're back here in you know your hometown how does that feel well it's pretty rewarding you know i spent most of my life trying to get out of traverse city and dreaming of being some kind of rock star in my head and it's just funny how things boomerang and and i always essentially wanted to come back here because my heart lives here so i try to think of you know i try to do everything i could to get back here and worked really really hard and never gave up and just always applied myself and i used my work ethic of being a garbage man just to don't don't stop till the job's done you know and that's the work ethic of a garbage man and and my dad you know he's a really hard worker and he's like my backbone and i'm really proud of him and if you look up the definition of what a father is and what a man is his name and picture would be in the dictionary you know and i try to follow that and those are big shoes to fill so to come back to traverse city and just show my parents that their whole life of supporting me you know and sometimes doubting me and watching me struggle even from a year ago i can remember i don't really tell anybody this but I even called Roger, my boss, and, you know, crying. And I'm not afraid to admit that and asking him, you know, if all fails, can I have my job back? And he literally said, no, you need to kick some <clears throat> and get it done. And, you know, I never gave up, even though I wanted to. And you got to have faith in what is and what will be. And I try to think of my voice as a blessing and that it's not just for me and that there's a reason why I have this, you know. So I try to give back whenever I can and to come back to Traverse City and play for the people that are real, that wake up every day because, you know, you're never going to be rich living in Traverse City and working from ground up, you know, unless you come from that, you know. I was raised in Meadow Lane Trailer Park, came from nothing. and. All I wanted to do was music ever since I was a kid and and be something that my mom would be proud of me to be, you know, and my dad and uh, my family. And now I have kids of my own and hopefully they're proud of me too, you know. And I want to be the ambassador of Northern Michigan. And um, through music and my voice, it's been a blessing and that's all I've ever tried to do is be a transistor of positive. You said earlier too, which I thought was really cool. You're like, you know, Kid Rock kind of represents Detroit, and when you think of him, um, you know, and, and you think of other people, you know, Eminem or Madonna, but then when you think of your name, Ryan White Maloney, you want people to think of Traverse City. I Absolutely. Think that's so cool. Yeah, I I want people to see me and automatically think of a pure Michigan commercial, you know, and that's my goal with shooting Michigan Moonlight in the summer is I want. I want it to be the staple of what Michigan represents. And that's, you know, to me, when you go around and see the outskirts of Traverse City, you can't ignore the fact that it's very country. You know, you can throw a rock and hit a barn or a cow. <laughs> and, uh, and that's, you know, when you grow older and you start listening to the lyrics of country music and what it represents, it's very morals based and about family and doing what's right and getting past all the tailgating and the drinking and things of that nature. Um, it's really just about being a good person and representing family in America. And I think country is the only thing that's American nowadays and I am totally proud to represent Traverse City and the city that I come from and that made me who I am and I, no matter what big city I live in or where I go from place to place, I am always a Michigan boy. And you're going to be back on The Voice. Absolutely. I'm going to go back to The Voice and be on the finale. And there's lots of surprises ahead. Exciting. Are you going to be at Cherry Festival now? Cherry Festival 2014. I got Biff Gore, the high kick man. I got Dendal Hoyt. I have Callie Tucker, Tanya Tucker's niece. And uh, I'm hoping to bring some surprise extra people. But uh, as far as right now, that's all I can tell you. Very cool.